All right, my name is Danny Koch. I'm the lead instructor for the Test the Best program. We're here at Soldier Field demonstrating the, the exceptional qualities of the adaptive ESP on all of the sprinters. Okay, so what I have in here is 1,500 pounds of water behind okay. you. And as you can see, it's up quite high. We've added 500 pounds of steel that brings us to 2,000 pounds, so 1 pounds, which puts us at about 20, maybe 2,900 pounds of weight in this vehicle. So we're running pretty close to capacity, which is just over 3,000 pounds for this vehicle here. So I want you to think to think about that not only from you know when I accelerate, but also when we do these maneuvers. Now water, of course, is a terrible weight to carry, especially when you got it sitting up against the ceiling. All right. This van is, so is kind of modified <laughs> specifically so that I can turn off the adaptive ESP which I've just done. Something you can't do in your own van, only I can do it in this van. We're going to make runs without the adaptive ESP on, and then we're going to make runs with the adaptive ESP. What's unique with Sprinter is we're the only manufacturer I'd look at the load independent of the vehicle itself, so we see what the center of gravity is doing and, and where it is, nice. and we start oh, adapting our system. Okay. So the first run I'm going to do is at 20 miles per hour. And at 20 miles an hour, nothing too bad happens. Just a little bit of motion. You know, you feel the band, right? Sway just. I have a hard time driving 20 miles an hour. So nothing bad happens at 20 now miles an hour, you just feel 30 miles an hour. hour. Alright, okay. remember the system is still turned off. And we got, you know, 3,000 pounds of weight in this vehicle. With the majority of it sitting up, you know, high behind me against the ceiling. Alright, so here we go, 30 miles an hour. that would have been a vehicle rollover. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the system back on. Shut off the ignition. I turn my special switch. And what happens now is um, every time a vehicle starts, the computer does a diagnostic to make sure the system is working okay. So there's no warning lights on anymore, so we're in good shape here. So this time we're going to do 40 miles an hour. Alright, there's acceleration. Remember to wait. I'm going to put my right foot here to show you I don't do any braking. When you, okay. when you feel braking forces, it's all done by the computer. Ready? Even at that, with all that weight, we still get wheel spin if I want it. Isn't that something? Wow. So there was Pretty no impressive. risk of rollover. We went, you know, 30% faster with no risk of rollovers. We use um, so a little bit about what the wheel system. speed sensor, steering angle sensor, and a roll on a yaw sensor to determine where the weight is. And all, all that happens is I come through there, computer senses how the vehicle's responding at a certain speed, and based on that, it says, okay, well, the vehicle responds in that manner, there must be so much weight sitting up in this area. As soon as it knows that, it can start compensating and changing the ESP system to deal with that.